Hey guys, it's Brie. I just finished City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett and I wanted to let you guys know what made this book so worthwhile reading. Um, if you are in the more kind of SFF world of fiction, you probably have heard of this novel. I'm gonna let you know off the bat, I got my copy as a part of a blogging program called Blogging for Books and I received it in exchange for a fair and honest review. Um, it is a fantasy novel about a world where the gods are dead. Um, and the current ruling class has forbidden any kind of discussion of them. It has forbidden any kind of history that actively involves the gods. So after a couple of generations, nobody knows really a lot about the gods, but they knew that they existed and they knew that the, the ruling class is kind of preventing them from knowing more. And so there's a lot of political tension, a lot of social tension um, that culminates in the death of this guy who has gone to study the, what little history that they do have about the gods. He's murdered and it's a big deal. And so the kind of ruling country sends a cultural ambassador, uh, Shara Thavani, to go and find out what exactly happened. It turns out that she's not just a bureaucrat. She's actually kind of like an intelligence officer. And she starts to investigate and realizes that things are really hinky. So, you know, the more she learns, the more she realizes that maybe the gods aren't as dead as everybody's been saying. There was a lot that I really liked about this book. The world building is very interesting. Um, the main place that it takes part in is called Bolikov, and it's a, it was the main kind of seat of the gods. It was their meeting place. And when the gods died, it massively shifted and it wound up being that most of the city was destroyed. But there's still like lingering elements of the gods. You can kind of tell that it used to be a holy place. The more that we learn about the world, we start to realize that there are these things called miracles, um, which are like charms essentially that the gods made possible that people are still able to use. Um, and in theory, when the gods died, these were supposed to no longer be possible. Um, Shara Thavani is uh, an intelligence officer, but she was really good friends with this professor who's going in to study the gods. You know, he's going there because it is the seat of the gods. And so she's also kind of naturally very interested in the cultural and kind of religious history of Balikov. So she's really well equipped to realize when things are going wrong. One of the things I'm always really hesitant about in SFF and really just in literature in general is the presentation of strong women as people who are very competent but perhaps not very emotional. And Robert Jackson Bennett has a lot of women characters. There was not a single one who I thought was not rounded out, um, who didn't have her capability undercut by a lack of emotional kind of connection. In fact, all of his characters are really, really well done. There's a romantic subplot to um, Shara's storyline, and I was really hesitant when I saw he was going there. Um, it's not that I have anything against romantic subplots. I'm just always really weary of with a main female protagonist, that taking up more time than something in the plot that's more deserving. Robert Jackson Bennett did a fantastic job of incorporating that, um, that kind of romantic aspect to her story and to her life without overwhelming everything else that was going on. And really, instead of using it as a focal point, using it as a way to create Shara as a more relatable character. 
The plot itself is fun and fast paced. I really enjoyed a lot of the action scenes and a lot of the kind of battles that happen because there are battles. Um, and they were so much fun, very well written. The best part though is that they are not overwhelming. So instead of being just one action scene after another after another, a lot of the plot is much more subtle. Um, you know, Shara is a, she is a member of the intelligence agencies and so a lot of her work is behind the scenes, is not terribly action packed and is more about gathering information and Bennett did a great job of showing that without making it terribly dull and having action without making it all about action. It was very well balanced. Anyway, I, this is one of my favorite books I think so far this year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Seriously, check this book out if you like action-packed stories, if you like stories with really just wonderful characters, this is the book for you. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!